The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, I think the main thing to pay attention to today, of course, is you know what's happening here in the stock market. We've got uh, some major uh, cycle points being hit today, and a few things like the uh, gold, euro, yen. All these things are are really uh, rocking and rolling. So you want to pay. You know, really close attention to these as we look. And crude oil is breaking down. We said that yesterday. They had a pretty good chance because we made that Gartley yesterday uh, up at that 53.85. The high was 53.87. And, uh, you know, we're down a buck and a half since there. And it looks like we are getting ready to break out the, nine, the 52 level, which is a, you know, a pretty big breakout. We'll cover that in a little bit. But the main thing to look at this morning on the first chart here. This is the Dow Jones of uh, what's happened over the last week. Uh, it was a week ago, you know, on the 1st when we had the um, the speech. It was actually on the 28th. The market reacted on the 1st. Well, the uh, Dow Jones uh, has still got these gaps in here. We have some gaps, of course, in the S&P. Uh, but the NASDAQ actually got down to the point where we were below uh, last night right near the close uh, that we had a – uh, we were below the price uh, of the of the speeches. That meant that everybody had bought the Nasdaq uh, during that time was now underwater. Whether that continues or not, you know, one doesn't know. But the fact that it gave quite a bit of it back, you know, I think is a a relatively important thing, you know, to pay attention to. But folks, we've been saying this uh, for several times, and this is about another market that is in big trouble, uh, and that is the Treasury bond market. We're we're. Uh, we're down at the end here, folks. They're, they're, they threw a life draft out just a little while ago, and it looks like the sharks ate it before it got to the, uh, to the market because uh, this bond market is uh, looking very, very, very – well, it's, it's worse all the time. This was uh, as of the other day, and now we're down two full handles from that 149.16 level. We just hit 147.16. And, of course, that is, uh, you know, down to where we were, you know, way back in December. That means we've gone from um, that 61 percent retracement in December uh, to touching that uh, again to the downside. That That is not a good sign. Now, may, maybe it'll hold. Maybe it'll hold 147.16. Uh, but uh, the charts are saying, boy, be really careful here because after it hit there, it didn't rally for three months. So this could that could be all you're going to get. And if that's the case, you're looking at a market that is, uh, you know, going to accelerate to the downside, i.e. interest rates are going to go higher. Whether that has anything to do with stocks or not, I don't know. I don't know whether anybody else does either. But those are the things that uh, I think are uh, relatively important. Um, I, I think, you know, since we're at such a critical level here, I'd, I'd like to uh, burn. Uh, broadsword to Danny boy, broadsword to Danny boy. Come in, Danny boy. The chicken is in the pot. The eagle is laying. Okay, there we go. Sorry, folks. You know, if you don't pay your hotel bill on time here, they cut you off right away. So uh, we'll be back in the USA uh, on Friday. And today at uh, the break, we've got our good friend, 
Norman Storman Winsky from Astro Trend will be our guest the second half of the show, and he always has some great information. But uh, watch the gold, and excuse me, well, go out watch gold around this 1208 level. You know, it might have a chance of a three dollar rally. Who knows? But anyway, let's also watch a heating oil because it's already broken down. We pointed that out a couple of days ago. Uh, it's been the leading indicator of this market. And, uh, you know, if we get below 52, I would think that we're going to start to see an acceleration uh, to the downside in the oil market. Uh, that's the way it would look like uh, from that level. So those are the key ones uh, that we have watching. But Friday, folks, I believe is going to be the really key day. Uh, mainly because it's the last day of the week. No, not not actually, because if we stay in this range here for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, then we have another uh, this another weekly gap on the Dow, and uh, th these are going to be very very interesting to watch. So let's pay attention. Remember, if we if we're down hard today, uh, more than a hundred Dow points, or tomorrow, or Friday. That means that everybody that bought stuff uh, at the night of the uh, the big speech uh, will be underwater, and that'll be a sign that uh, you know we're we're looking uh, at a market that is going to uh, you know could be could cause some problems, possibly. Who knows? Let's take a quick look here over the past uh, day or so uh, on the Treasury bond market, just to show you how how bearish this thing has been. Uh, all we were able to do uh, during the time of the 6th and 7th was make a 382 retracement. Uh, that made a perfect little ABCD on that spot. And that has been telling us that we're getting ready to, you know, accelerate to the downside. And we're we're at a very important double bottom now at this uh, 147.16. This was the level that we hit, you know, way back in December, you know, talking three months. Now, if we take that out, you know, by you know, a tick or two, and then we don't go anywhere. There's a possibility this could be a double bottom, but uh, you know, that's a uh, that's a case that if you're going to try that, and I am not doing that. I'm just saying to pay attention to it uh, because it is a very very key number, and uh, you know, the rates look to me like we are going to go higher, no matter what the Federal Reserve says they're going to do, because they follow the market. They don't uh, they don't make the market. So there's the there's the main thing uh, of what's going on, you know, with some of these things. Okay, let's just move on here and uh, take a look at some of these others that we have to look at because there's a lot of things happening. And, of course, Norm will help us out uh, at the break here, but we want to watch it very, very closely. Uh, when we were talking about just yesterday when we were on the air, we were watching this uh, little guard lead that we had in crude oil. Uh, we're now breaking down. We're right near. We've already taken out the low of March uh, the 3rd. Uh, we're we're approaching the uh, 1.27 level at the uh, 52.05 level. Uh, you know that tells us that we're breaking down more. And and when you get below 52, uh, I would think the market might get ready to accelerate uh, because we would be breaking some major support here uh, in crude oil over a long period of time. And my assumption is that would be technically, you know, very very important. You know to uh, uh, to watch that. So those are the main things. Let me just sh let me just show you an example of the chart. I'll take a little break. I'll get back and I'll show you the same type of chart. Different TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS 
has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, we're back, folks. And uh, one of the reasons why it's fun to be part of the TFNN family is they got some pretty pretty good uh pretty smart dudes here both in the den and you know on the program steve rhodes just happened to put a uh, chart up on the nasdaq uh, looking at a, a 30 minute chart i believe over the past several days and it showed the uh, uh three drive to a bottom pattern that we finished yesterday in the nasdaq and we're having a little bit of a rally today that does two things one it alerts you to the possibility of this rally but also if it does go below that level, that that's going to be key support. So both of those things can be very, very helpful. Uh, and most of the stuff that we have here at TFNN is really very, very helpful. Folks, we've now broken below the December lows uh, in the uh, Treasury bonds. Uh, this is a uh, what I think is a uh, incredibly negative uh, thing. Now, if this is a double bottom, uh, we should be able to get back above uh, 148 today if it were able to do that but if we close below uh, 147 you know this is going to tell us that you know rates are going to go uh, a lot higher and that's uh, that's going to be very interesting now but we don't know whether that's going to have any effect to the market at all you know this has been a market that has been operating off of quantitative easing our good friend Shane Smullion from uh, wolftrader.net has proved to us week after week that that's really the thing you know that has been, uh, you know, been moving, uh, been moving forward uh, with these things. So we want to watch this uh, very closely. Now, one of our listeners uh, happens to live back down in the south. Uh, asked us to talk a little bit about the cotton chart that we brought out the other day, and I mentioned, you know, that I don't trade cotton, but I do look at it. And uh, if you take a look at this cotton chart, there's a very strong possibility that we're in this really uh, tight triangle, as you can see, uh, that we've had listed here. And then if we put in the action that we had uh, in, in uh, cotton since I've uh, done this, uh, you'll see that uh, we've had a pretty good move to the upside. Just give me one second here to 
to get this in. We've already touched the uh, upper level. Hold on one second here and get this up here. There we go. We've already touched the upper level of this at uh, 79.80. And then yesterday, uh, we had a pretty good reversal. And whether that is uh, you know, going to be the top or not, I don't know. But it should not get above 80 cents if uh, if this uh, if this chart is good now if this cotton takes off you know it could break out to the upside you know like we did in in stocks and you know all bets are off what's this telling you though is that your absolute moment of truth in uh, in uh, in cotton is upon us so that's uh, if you trade cotton watch it close because it's a uh, it's a very very interesting Okay. Okay. Uh, broadsword to Danny boy. Broadsword to Danny boy. I'm back. Uh, I've got a little, bit of, um, a little bit of a problem with the uh, with the internet here. I think it's because of the uh, planes from North Korea flying over the South China Sea, heading for China. I don't know if that means anything or not. Uh, and of course, you know that would be way out of the way, folks. So that was sort of a uh, a minor attempt at a joke here at. Uh, 10:30 at night here in Hong Kong. We'll have Norm Winsky on uh, in just a little bit here, and we will be uh, we'll be seeing you know some of the great things that Norm has for us. He does some of the best work uh, uh, about the planetary stuff that uh, I've seen, so that's why we try to have him on. And when he asks to come on, I think it's worth it because he's usually usually got something that is you know very very important. We'll have him on in just a little bit. Okay, now the problem is uh, if the if I lose the internet, folks, I'm not able to call in. Uh, there's just no other way that I can do it. I'm sorry, but uh, that will it. I'll just keep trying to log on to Skype just as quick as I can. Hopefully, uh, Norm's connection will be spot on, and I'll just let him uh, continue. So we'll we'll uh, see what's happening. Got another few minutes here uh, of our program, and I wanted to cover. Uh, uh, another one that looks re really interesting here, uh, and that is the, the the euro, folks. The euro's at the moment of truth here at this 105 level. Again, uh, we've seen this uh, time and time again. We'll put this up here and take a look at it because if we start to break below 105, you know, then you're going to be you're going to be looking at something, you know, really really significant to the downside, and that means the U.S. dollar index will start to go, and that'll also uh, cloud the interest rate uh, level uh, uh, to a great extent, also. So these are, you know, one or two of the things that look, uh, you know, really interesting. Now, someone's mentioned uh, the price of sugar, and I wanted to show you the relationship, like what we're looking at, uh, and as far as a technical picture. Of crude oil. Now, crude oil is breaking down below this level. As you can see, Treasury bonds are now breaking down below this level, and they're doing it with a, a pretty good, you know, wide ranging bar to the downside. So these are nothing more, you know, than these chart patterns that are breaking out of technical formations. In other words, you're breaking out of point C to the downside. That suggests that you're going to go down a lot more. In sugar, it happens to be another $1,500. Uh, in bonds, we don't know because there's nothing but uh, there's nothing but air under the uh, uh, the Treasury bond market, folks. It, there isn't anything there. I mean, it had the 61% retracement at 47.17, 147.17 back in December. We're trading below that level now. Uh, that means everybody that's bought it in the last three months is underwater, and we didn't have a rally. I mean, we rallied five handles in the bonds. That was nothing after it dropped 22 handles. It couldn't even make a uh, – it made a 382 off of election night, and that was about all it was able to do. But this is a market that is, uh, you know, under extreme stress, and uh, this means higher interest rates are coming. Whether that's going to uh, 
mean anything on a longer time frame or not, I'm not sure. Now, since we're talking a little bit about the interest rates uh, and you know the uh, the bonds and stuff, we really need to take a look at this uh, dollar yen uh, because uh, you'll notice here that we're very strong this morning. Uh, we're approaching the 115 level. Uh, that means we're completing the ABCD pattern from uh, back in December. And if we happen to get this uh, dollar yen up to the 116 uh, area, we could be getting ready to break out. And after a uh, 382 retracement uh, that took uh, almost two and a half months and could only make the 382 retracement, you are looking at power, P-O-W-E-R, in the yen dollar. So don't 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 stand in front of that puppy because uh, you know that's trying to catch a falling knife or stop a freight train on the on the tracks and you don't really want to uh, try to have that do. We're going to take a little break here in a second, and then we'll have Norm Winsky on at the break and he's going to have some great things you know to show us. So watch that. Another one that that's interesting from a long term perspective if you're watching the currency and here again. We're at the proverbial moment of truth, whether it's going to stop or not, is the Treasury or British pound. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we're back, and uh, we want to wish Norm a happy birthday from last month. But let's take uh, – Norm, are you there? 
Yes, sir. Okay, listen, you're going to have to be in control today, and uh, they're going to they're going to move your charts up into the den because I'm having a poor internet connection here. So I'm going to turn it over to you and just fire away. You tell me when a, a chart should be moved, and we'll do that for you, folks. Norm Winsky from Astro Trend. Thank you very much, Larry. We're on page one, and I just thought I'd get a, do a little review of uh, what we had last month. Had you gotten my letter? Some of these things I covered when I was on Larry's show. I think on I think it was a February 8th, if I remember remember correctly. And so here's some of the things I do in my letter. We have a market math, which we have where we have special uh, land on special mathematically uh, key dates. And for example, February 23rd was 6,180 days. That's like six six one eight times uh, ten uh, days from the internet bubble top for the S&P, which was March the 24th, 2000. If you add that, uh, you get to February 23rd. And uh, then we had uh, February 28th. Uh, Gan, I'm a student that was a study of Gan for many years, and uh, Mr. Gan loved the square numbers. So, for example, 54 squared is 2,916. You add that number of days from the March 6, 2009 low, and you get Feb 28th and so forth. And I have a some Fibonacci time cycle models, and they generate some dates, and we have those dates there where I'm pointing, and then we have some astro dates. So uh, how did that all work out? Every month in my letter, I review uh, the forecast that I made that month in the in the next month, and so and this is all in, from the March letter. And so how did that come out? So Feb 23, you can see down here, the this is the chart that my March letter was published on Sunday night, March the 5th. So this is charts right out of there, and you can see I marked this chart up with these different types of dates. And then I add up the uh, the batting average and see how we did. So Feb 23 was a short-term high. Feb 28 was a short-term low. On the market math, we got two out of two. That's 100%. On the Fibonacci, we got uh, three out of three for 100%. And the Astro was not as good, only two out of four, 50%. But overall, we did seven out of nine for 77%. Looking on ahead, I also do sort of what a Bradley-style model, but my own version of that. I do some things that Bradley did not do. I've been doing this a long time now. I learned, read, read Bradley's book back in the early 70s. And so uh, here was my blue line here. I, I said in my February letter that if we started rolling in one direction, uh, the February letter went out on the uh, Sunday night, the 5th. And so as of the 6th of February, whichever we started going, in, uh, in the, whatever, tr whichever way we started the trend, I had several different models. Uh, the, the, but based on the market action, we should follow that model. So this model was the bullish model that we go up. And then I said that if we start rolling to the upside, uh, that trend should continue until around the 27th of the month. You see the big red arrow there. That was on there weeks in advance. And it was off by two days. So that's outside my normal parameter. I like to be right within one day. Uh, one could argue possibly that... Uh, uh, President Trump's announcement that he's going to make a major announcement, joint uh, address to the uh, Congress, uh, House of Congress, and so that may have disrupted the, the timing a bit, and then we have topped out ever since and been coming down. So uh, there we go. So moving on ahead now, here's crude oil. I know Larry likes to talk about crude oil. I think he was just talking about it. I sort of anticipated that. And so here we have the crude oil results for last month. We hit uh, on our key dates here. We hit five out of six, 83%. There I marked it on the chart there. Had the high of the month, had the low of the month to the day. So that's pretty good. Here's your sugar. Larry just mentioned the sugar, I think, a little while ago. And uh, the reason I'm highlighting sugar, some of these things sort of give you, clue you in on uh, what we're going to talk about when we talk about what's coming up. Uh, sugar is a key market this month because uh, two days ago or the past weekend, uh, the planet Venus turned retrograde, and Venus is a uh, considered to be what we call a ruling planet for sugar. It's a key. The Venus cycles are key to the sugar market. And so uh, usually uh, when the ruling planet of a commodity uh, goes retrograde, in other words, it's relative motion to the Earth. It appears to be going backwards. We know physically it's not doing that, but relative to the Earth, it appears that way. <clears throat> That's usually bearish for prices for that market. And so if the sugar is breaking down here, and it looks like it has in the last couple of days, uh, then we're probably looking at the uh, next several weeks of uh, 
trending lower. So moving on ahead now. Let's see. Oh, on the sugar last month, we had uh, three out of three for 100%, by the way. There's the key dates I had for February up there, uh, up of that level there. Moving on ahead, here's the corn. I thought I'd uh, cover a wide uh, spectrum of markets here, so I throw in the markets. Now, uh, the grains, I consider the, uh, if you don't want to use your brains, then you should trade the grains because it doesn't get much easier than this. Go look at the new moons and full moons over the last several months. I think you could go back at least six months or more. I mean, it's been working uh, for years and years, but just for a quick sample. You could go check it out, Google uh, Lunar Calendar for the last six months, and you'll find out that these markets like to turn on the uh, new moon, full moon. On uh, the corn, again, I had, had four dates, and four out of four of those dates were potential winners. Like right here, if you bought there on that green arrow, you had a low. And if you were selling there on that red arrow, you had a winner uh, to go short. Down here, we had LOM, low of the month. That was pretty good. Uh, looking on ahead here, I got a couple dates coming up with the full moon and new moon. We have a full moon coming up on the uh, after the close of the 10th, over the 10th weekend. And so you want to watch many of these markets, grains, precious metals, they all dance to the moon. So it's pretty Norm, uh, Norm we have yes, a sir. question from one of our listeners about with the fact that we have an equinox coming up here. Uh, in March around the 21st. Uh, so could you discuss a little bit if you've had any work whether these equinoxes have a, a lot of power because we, we hear that the ancient astrologer used it quite a bit. But what's your feeling on that? I think it's more of a short-term thing, a one- or two-day deal. If you have a bunch of stuff piling up there, it just adds a, some additional power. Mm -hmm. I, okay, so, you know, it's, it's, a, it's something to keep an eye on, but I wouldn't... Uh, Usually it, it's something that happens every, you know, every 90 days you have another, uh, you know, equinox, you know. So, you know, it's just, it's just, just changing signs every 30 days we change signs. So, you know, okay. some markets would be more uh, relevant than others. Corn is, uh, corn it has to do with, is important for the sun or cycle. That's the sun cycle from point of view of the earth. And so uh, have more relevance for corn than possibly some others, you know. Okay. All right, moving on ahead. Here's the stock market looking on ahead here now. We have, uh, here's the March forecast, and I noted that, uh, oh, the big event for many of these markets, greens and the stock market, is I have my big polarity change in trend point for mid-month uh, after the close of Friday the 17th. That'll be over the weekend. I mar I've noticed that when the planets get to their zero north latitude point, that's to be due to you know, the planets are kind of like the horses on a carousel as they go around and around. They also go up and down. So they re hit certain sets of points. We just had Mars back in February uh, 27th, uh, right around there. Mars hit zero north latitude. Looks like it's music time. So I guess yep. I'll be back in a few minutes. You bet. We'll be right back. Thank you. If you're looking to unearth a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new Market Safe Core Commodity CD from EverBank. This five year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to four equally weighted commodities gold, copper, WTI oil, and sugar in one powerful CD. With no pricing caps, you can potentially earn an unlimited upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across semi annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance, there's no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. With certain commodities on the rebound, now is the time to take advantage. The March 23rd funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once more, that's 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. 
Tuesdays and Thursdays. We broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have our good friend Norm Winsky from Astro Trend on the line. Go ahead, Norm. You have the you have the mic. Thank you very much. So I was saying that uh, based on this uh, big Mercury point, zero north latitude point, on the uh, weekend of the 17th, uh, my big picture forecast for the month was once we once we start rolling here uh, in the first few days of uh, March, that should be the probably the big trend all the way till the middle of the month, and I expect a, a big possible big reversal there, change in trend in the middle of the March that weekend of the 17th. Uh, going back just a minute, why did we, uh, here's the S&P I talked about here, uh, the top we had on the 1st of March, and why did the S&P happen to choose the level, the top out that it did? I was looking for a, a, a climax there, a top there, and uh, that's one of my, uh, the numbers, uh, GAN numbers, is uh, 2401, which is, uh, oh my, I forgot, oh yeah, it's uh, 49 squared which is seven to the fourth power. And so that's another square number and we missed it by two cents. So that was pretty good. Also on the Dow Jones at that same moment, we had some interesting math here. I'm now on the top of page five, Larry, just so you can follow along. Okay, there's I'm watching her, yes. There's all the math there, how to get to 2401. I took uh, one of your favorite all time dates, Larry, July the 8th, 1932, the intraday low for the Dow Jones back there in the depression thirties which was 40.56, and started multiplying that by our favorite uh, Fibonacci golden ratio, 1.618.0339s, did that 13 times, and uh, which is also a, comes out to a Lucas number of 521, and if you multiply that low, you get 21,131.82, and that was pretty close to the high there on March the 1st. Missed it by uh, about 37 points, I think, you know. Okay, we have a question from one of our listeners uh, about a Lucas number. Do you want to explain to us uh, uh, what a Lucas number is? Lucas number is the only numbers that are directly derived from the Fibonacci ratio. They're they're great. I use those a whole lot in my Fibonacci mathematics. When you uh, when the folks uh, get a hold of me and do the free class, I have a free five hour class. I will go go into the details of that. How do you do that? But okay. we have limited time now. You know that's uh, you know that's like a half an hour. Class that learn Lucas numbers. You know? Yeah, that's a big Fibonacci. To, yeah, we have to use a uh, disclaimer here, a caveat emptor that you know Lucas was not Italian, so you must take uh, his word with a great deal of research, as I recall. All right. We need to work with things like a Fibonacci. <laughs> All right, Pepperoni, Norm, go right ahead, my friend. Pepperoni, right? There you go. Yeah, there you go. This is what we call jet the lag. <laughs> Okay. Go ahead, my friend. All right. Anyway, so uh, so we have the uh, S&P 500. Uh, we're looking at the chart here. Here's the key dates here for 
Uh, market math, we have uh, 3,444 days. This is music math based on Pythagoras to the, you know, that came up with the mathematics for Western music. And so that all the music is based on certain mathematics. And if we extrapolate that, uh, we get uh, come out one of the key times is 3,444 days. And we add that to the October 11, 2007 high. And that gets you to March the 16th, which is one day of our planetary window, you know. So that's pretty good. I love when they different things come together like that. And then we have a, a astrological Dow Jones analysis based on key uh, turns in the past. And we have today as a turning point. I think we might get a little bounce here, maybe go sideways a higher a bit. Uh, there's March 8th, and we have some dates out in the future. And then we have my Fibonacci dates coming up next week. And we have some, I had an astro date on the 6th when Venus turned retrograde and so forth. And here's your 10 minute S&P chart here. And you can see that uh, you can see where it broke the uptrend line last uh, week and that we've been going down uh, ever since. And we're kind of getting to a uh, possible support area here, just a little bit lower than where we closed yesterday, you know. So if we break this mm -hmm. downtrend line here, then we might have a reversal to the upside. I would, I would prefer not a forecast. I would prefer uh, maybe it'd be okay if we went back up and retest the highs by in mid month there, and then roll over. Oh, but speaking of the bonds here, Larry, we have I, I kind of skipped over that. I talked about it here for the stock market. We have a big convergence of both from the point of view of the Earth, that's geocentrically, and from the point of view of the Sun, heliocentrically. Jupiter making that key 90 degree angle to Pluto. Pluto is that. And so the whole debt complex might have a big uh, culmination, cycle culmination at the end of the month, right around the 29th to the 30th. So just keep that in mind. So anyway, there we go. So there we have our forecast for the stock market. And now I'm going to move ahead and tell the folks how they can get the free class. This, if you're new, you're listening to me here on Larry's show, I have uh, started studying the stock market. When I was 15 years old, I'm 66 now, and so that's over 50 years. In college, I was investing and made enough money to buy uh, back in the 70s, uh, buy one of the early memberships on the Chicago Board Options Exchange, went there right out of college, and I became a market maker and did that for 12 years on the floor. And uh, so I've been trading a long time and doing this a long time. So I started studying astrology back in the early 70s, studied GAN, studied Elliott Wave, all this stuff. And so uh, there might be a few things that I can uh, share with you, and you might learn something. And it's all free. I have a free five-hour class, one-to-one, -one, and I only have a few uh, spots that I can do this every month because uh, it takes five hours. So basically, uh, that's the day. And so uh, if you want to get a hold of me right away, and I mean right away, I may maybe have five or six spots left. And so the first five or six people to get a hold of me who can get the class right away and get my letter for free. I have a 38-page letter, and plus there's other bonus material if you uh, complete the class. So here's my contact information. Uh, I'm here in beautiful sunny Florida, and I'm on Eastern Time. And you can call me if you're in the U.S. on my landline, 239-594-3939. That's 239-594-3939. And you please use this email. Uh, that's not, not the one that's on my uh, web page. N Winsky at embark e m b a r q m a i l dot com. That's embarkmail.com. And here's my Skype. You can call me on Skype, Norm dot Winsky. Just punch in my name. I think I'm the only Norm Winsky on all the Skype. And I don't know if we have. Do we have time for questions, now, Larry? I could take. Questions yeah, we do have. Them. We do have a question. That is, uh, how do you weight the uh, the planet Mercury? Do you give it more weight than say some of the other planets? There is a hierarchy to the planetary power. That is that the closer it is to the sun, the faster it's moving around. Mercury only takes 88 days to go around the sun. So if you think of the planets like boats, uh, the planets that are near the sun, those are called inner planets. Those are like little speed, little speed boats. Then you have mm -hmm. the big uh, oil tankers and the big ships are the outer planets. So, you know, like you start with the outer planets, start with Jupiter at 11 and a half years. And mm -hmm. then you go out to Saturn at 29 and a half years. So... Those are your big cycles, you know, your big long-term cycles. And then your short-term cycles are your Mercury, Venus, uh, Earth, Mars. You know, those are your inner planets. So there's a hierarchy to that. And then there's also a hierarchy to the angles we look at, which are called aspects. And so uh, the uh, when you divide the circle up, and you divide the circle 360 by 1, 
that's the most powerful angle there is. That's zero degrees or, or 360, and that's called a conjunction, and then you divide by two, and you get 180 and so forth. It's all grade school arithmetic. Mm -hmm. This stuff looks complicated. Well, that, yeah. But it's when you that's scratch a great, all the surface. Great, that's really a really great analogy. I, I really like that about the speedboats. That that makes really really a whole lot of sense. So that's good. Give the folks your phone number one more time, Rich. Uh, all right, that'll Norm, be two, got our... two three nine five nine four three nine three nine. Call me right away. I'm serious about that, and so I'll be happy to help you. I'll be to talk to you and get you set up for a free class, one to one free class on Skype. Thanks a lot, Norm. We'll talk to you soon. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good trip home, Larry. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under Trading Newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, let's keep, keep an eye on this bond market because we took out the lows of last December by just a couple of pips. Yeah, ticks, and uh, it hasn't really gone anywhere. We're now trading up about 10 uh, points off the bottom at this 147.23 uh, level. But uh, any close below this 147.12 uh, level will most say will most likely uh, give a clue that we are heading down uh, quite a bit. But where there were virtually no stops down there, at least early in the morning, that doesn't mean they're not close only. But keep an eye on this level at 147 and change. That's the lows from last December, and uh, you know rates are going to go higher. It's uh, just a question of when. Uh, the other one that looks interesting is the old uh, thing that Archimedes was doing when he was taking his bath, when he said, Eureka, 
And keep an eye on that one because that's the one that's got a real chance. And if you don't know what Archimedes was looking at, you should go in and Google because um, it's very precious to all of us, as all as they would say. Now, as far as the E mini S and P, we we've had a nice 12 point rally off the bottom. Uh, remember. We did drop uh, uh, 40 handles off the top. So far, we've been able to rally back 12 of those. Uh, I believe this market's not going to do very much until probably Monday. We've only got a couple more days to get through, and then we'll be, we'll be watching it very, very closely. I will not be on the air tomorrow, travel date, but I will be um, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed here on Friday from our offices in Tuscan, Arizona, and we'll have a good time looking at these markets. Uh, and we'll have some a good guests next week. We're going to have Rich Anderson on, and we're hoping to have Bill Meridian on next week, too, because I'd like to hear what, what he has to say about uh, what's going on, both astrologically, of course, and some of his great cycle work. So those are the things that we've got planned for next week. But the, the key here is to watch the, the levels of these gaps in the Dow Jones. And, of course, we got that really big one at 20,890 in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And we're having a pretty good rally today, which is sort of expected because we were down every day this week. Anyway, live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. TFNN has just launched a special event in Tampa with Tom O'Brien taking place March 18th, sponsored by Nadex. Tom O'Brien will be presenting two workshops for a combined two and a half hours of education, bisecting and dissecting his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. March 18th kicks off with a continental breakfast as we get everyone checked in, and that is followed by two 75-minute workshops with Tom O'Brien. The first workshop from 8.45 until 10 a.m. will cover quality volume, cause and effect, and ABC structures, and the second workshop from 10.15 until 11.30 a.m. will cover swing points, testing, and the Tiger Gartley. Tom will then wrap things up with a question and answer session, which will be followed by a Tiger luncheon social on the rooftop of the Westin Hotel. The best part is that it's all free, but you must register to attend. Visit the front page of TFNN.com for all the details and to sign up today, and we hope to see you in Tampa on March 18th.